The essence of liberty is a state of being free within society from oppressive restrictions brought on by authority that affect your way of life, your religious decisions, your personal decisions, and your personal privacy. Since the inception of the internet, this has taken on a whole new meaning to include your personally identifiable information that's available in a digital form. The government has a history of allowing that to not only be accessed, but also requesting it from companies so they can use it against you. If you need any proof of this, look no further than the current attorney general who, during his first term in the early 1990s, oversaw a DEA program that collected phone calls into the billions from American citizens without any kind of warrant whatsoever. A provision in the Communications Decency Act of 1996, Section 230, was designed to prevent the government from holding online businesses such as social media companies and others legally liable for crimes committed on their platforms without their knowledge. Now, Senator Lindsey Graham, who our fans will recall was the sole person standing between Sergeant First Class Richard Stayskull and Justice, is at it again, pushing Senate Bill 3398, titled the quote-unquote Earn It Act of 2020. The purpose of the bill is allegedly to, quote, establish a national commission on online child sexual exploitation prevention and for other purposes, end quote. You may wonder what other purposes means. Well, let me tell you. The Department of Justice has for years been anti-encryption and anti-privacy. They don't like the power that privacy gives the individual. Congress won't go near their bills, however, because they know the public certainly wouldn't have it. The Earn It Act amends Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act to truncate those protections in the case of child sex exploitation. The only way for companies to keep that immunity is for the company to certify that it complies with a set of quote-unquote best practices for preventing online child sex abuse. These policies would be decided by unelected officials, including the Attorney General, who, as we mentioned, has a history of abusing access to private civilian communications. In plain language, this offers a false choice to companies. They can either choose to abide by the government's rules, which will include giving up your personal information, your private data, and encryption keys to their site, or... They can choose to accept full legal responsibility for these actions that are outside of their span of control. The worst part about this is that the Senate specifically chose child sex crimes because they know this resonates with all people. They want to force these companies into choosing between child sex crimes and your privacy, and that is a false choice. These are the same people that had Jeffrey Epstein in custody and let him die before he was able to expose their colleagues and friends for raping children. They have no moral high ground to stand on. These are their names. Lindsey Graham, Richard Blumenthal, Dianne Feinstein, Kevin Kramer, Josh Howley, Doug Jones, Bob Casey, Sheldon Whitehouse, Dick Durbin, and Joni Ernst, Democrats and Republicans. Each of you is pathetic for trying to backdoor your way into spying on American citizens and trying to weaponize the rape of children for your own political gain.